Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This one's going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do want to give you guys a quick update for those of you guys that are interested in personal consultations. We are at the end of the year, as you guys know, this is the busiest season for us, so we decided to make it a bit easier for you guys and more pre -act, uh, proactive. Um, sorry, I was going to say preactive. <laughs> Anyways, you can go to our online store now and you can actually schedule uh, for consultations, whether it's a 30 minute telephone consultation or a video live reading, you can now go on there and do that. So let's get into your reading Virgo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope that you guys are as excited as I am for the holidays as we are quickly approaching. Wish you guys the very best for this month. All right, let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. What are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is it that they need to know at this present time? What is unfolding for them for the month of November 2021? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages? What are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Here we go. Okay. Okay. Let's get into your reading, Virgo. We're starting off with the Ace of Swords. We have the Magician. Wow. Okay. Whew. Two of Wands and the Three of Swords. Okay. You're going through a transition, Virgo. A major transition. A major glow up. With the Ace of Swords, this is communication, but this can also represent um, being enlightened. This is getting a clear, crystallized vision of where you're going. This is like, for those of you guys that have felt perhaps in the past couple of weeks a bit um, confused in any single aspect of your life, like there wasn't a purpose meaning a bit confused, not knowing exactly what path to take, or if you were even in the right path. Um, what they're telling you here is all those fears are going to be pretty much vanishing, Virgo. I feel that you guys are definitely stepping into your own. This is really like believing in yourself and knowing your capabilities. Um, it's like you are stepping into your own energy, uh, being very confident, being very aware of the power that you have to manifest, Virgo. Um, and, and I think I think a lot of it has to do with fears, fears that we've held on to in the past, where whether it was relationships that just didn't seem to work out, whether it was it felt like you started something and it just became so difficult or blockages, um, that you quickly started to believe um, that you were not deserving of love or of success or of abundance, stability. Um, and that's quickly, like there has been a shift in your consciousness. This could be for some of you guys practicing the law of attraction. For others of you, it's really getting crystal clear on the goals that you're trying to accomplish um, if it's in relationships, this is you knowing exactly what it is that you're looking for in a partner. Um, this is a major transition from what I've seen in the past couple of years for you guys. I feel like 2021 and 2022 is definitely going to be your year. Um, with the magician here, this is, you know, like I said, having all the tools, having all the being at the right time, at the right moment, around the right people. This is like intuitively you are on automatic pilot um this is like spirit guiding you opening doors opening opportunities for you and really honing that energy um and again we talk about manifestations here because with the ace of swords and the magician card um and highlighting that is the star card this is like if you've ever felt like what was the what's the purpose of my life or what's the purpose of what i'm supposed to be doing that type of energy if you've ever experienced that in the past like i said it's almost like things are going to start to fall into place where everything starts to make perfect sense for you virgo um and this is a very beautiful energy i don't think i've ever seen um this type of energy for you guys um in past readings for quite a while 
Um, and again, with the star card, this is illumination, but this also speaks about the planet alignments assisting you. This is about um, destiny. Destiny is at play right now. And, and I think that the meetings, the people that are coming into your life, the people that are leaving your life at this present moment, know that there is a higher purpose for that. And there is a reason behind it. Spirit wants you to fully open your eyes and see your true potential. No longer holding back or placing your life on hold um, for other people or for people to uh, choose you. I'm hearing you're being chosen at this time. So again, it's about stepping into your own power and knowing if people are not appreciating your energy, pull back, create distance, take care of your energy, Virgo. It's going to be very important for the month of November to be around people that inspire you, to be around people that motivate you. Anyone that is a negative Nancy, anyone that is or has a tendency of being negative, try to create some type of distance there only because right now you're full-blown being able to manifest and it has a lot to do with your surroundings. So be mindful of that. Now, you also do have the two of wands here. So again, with the three of swords, if in the past you've experienced if in the past you have experienced um, heartbreaks, uh, not being able to stabilize relationships or connections, that's no longer going to be the case. The Three of Swords is, um, the energy is in the reverse position. So this means healing from past experiences, but that this also speaks about releasing and letting go of the fears that you have of either being taken for granted or being taken advantage of. Uh, this is something that you need to release completely. Why? The Two of Wands speaks about a partnership that's coming towards you that is destined for you with the star card. If you can see here, the Two of Wands is looking, uh, is looking towards the star card. So this is finally being able to see clearly and concisely where is this relationship going. For those of you guys that are single, this is you being guided towards the person the, or the person coming towards you that is the right one for you, the one that you've been wanting to manifest or the one that your heart's desire has been craving, the person that is going to be your equal. The star card is illumination. This is being guided. This is uh, on a spiritual level, your spirit guides guiding you towards the partner, the partner that is deserving of you. So again, very beautiful energy for the month of November, Virgo. I want to wish you guys the very best. Sending guys all my love and light. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see each other soon. Bye.